Hey guys, it's Josh here and welcome to my first video of 2019. I am so excited to find out what this year has to bring for us all. I just cannot wait. But anyway, jumping right in, you're probably wondering why does this build start from the interiors and that's just because I may or may not have forgotten to click that little record button before I started building this house. So you missed out on the exterior building, but to be honest, that was probably not as interesting as normal since it was just the house is actually pretty square from the exterior so it's not the most interesting or unique of exteriors but i tried to make the house shine inside since i did try and make it really different from all the kinds of modern houses i built in the past because i did actually base this floor plan off a real one that i found online and there was also actually a picture included of the front of the house as well so the front of the house and the, the floor plan of the house was actually inspired by things I found online. I actually haven't really done a like floor plan from real life kind of build before so it was actually heaps of fun. You, if you haven't done that before you should definitely try that out because it's so much fun like trying to I guess implement a house from real life into the sims and I've seen videos on that on YouTube so I thought hey why not try something similar and do like a real life inspired house as well and that's exactly what I did and I think it turned out pretty decent. This, this house was a four bedroom house, but one bedroom was left pretty bare so that you can do whatever you like with it. So you can probably convert it into some kind of bedroom as it's meant to be, or you could turn it into like a hobby room, a secondary study, because this does this house does have an actual dedicated study, but it's pretty small. So if, if your sim is like a businessman or a businesswoman, then maybe you could make use of the empty bedroom and put like a really big study with a lot of bookshelves and a lot of file cabinets and stuff like that inside. Your sim can have plenty of room to work from home if they wish. And another interesting feature of this floor plan was that it had a like a secondary kitchen i believe they called it like a scullery which i guess is where your sims could prepare food even when there's guests over without like being a nuisance or like be, be, make the house look messy so i guess if you wanted to bake a cake and you had lots of guests over you could bake it in the scullery and bring the cake out once it's all ready to bake and put it in the stove and basically all the mess stays out of sight and out of mind to the guests so the house could keep its spick and span look without being difficult to maintain so you can like keep the mess in the scullery but anyway apart from that there's two lounge rooms and one lounge room is actually upstairs so that could be like a kids lounge room or a kids like living area and then the bottom floor kitchen not kitchen the bottom floor lounge room could be at, like the guests one so when there's guests over they could potentially like use that tv instead since it's a lot bigger it's a lot more luxury and I'm pretty sure it'd be a lot more expensive to use because it's a really big TV. But anyway, on that note, I think I'll leave you guys off here since I am pretty strapped for time in terms of recording this since this is the new year. There's a lot of things happening and a lot of things to get ready for. But anyway, there will be screenshots at the end of this. I hope you guys enjoy and I wish you guys all a wonderful 2019. And oh, I almost forgot to tell you guys if you'd like to find this build in the gallery, you could find this by looking up the Oasis. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.